It was mostly wind, and she said they lost electricity for a couple hours, and uh, but they didn't have any damage on their property. So that was good to hear. They did on their street, but not on their property. So. I had to get outside. <laughs> Hello, this is Glenda with Freelance and Friends Crafts Plus. And Joe isn't home yet. It's supposed to start getting chillier. The temperature's supposed to start dropping in about an hour, if not earlier. So I decided to come on out. It just took me a while to get everything arranged and get myself get my breathing back under control. I'm on my portable, which it doesn't give that continuous supply like the the concentrator inside. Uh, it's more it just gives oxygen when I breathe. But it is a small concentrator, so anyway. It is nice out. The sun is beautiful. The humidity is in the 20s. Uh, so nice. So, so nice. <sighs> now I've got a runny nose. <laughs> I hope everybody's doing good today. My oldest granddaughter is living in Lincoln now. And I texted her the other, because we had, they had a really, really bad windstorm. Um, we were in a thunderstorm wa warning, but there was li very little rain. It was mostly wind, and she said they lost electricity for a couple hours. And, uh, but they didn't have any damage on their property. So that was good to hear. They did on their street, but not on their property, so. Yeah. I'll set out here for a while anyway. But now it is a beautiful day. They had, I'm trying to think what night that was. Was it Saturday? Might have been Saturday. But it was like the whole eastern half of the state. Just the winds were like 65 to 75 miles per hour, which took down a few trees. We didn't get, I mean, we got a pretty good wind down here, but we didn't get as bad as they got in like Northern Gage and, North, and Lancaster in Lincoln and stuff. So, But it did cover this whole half to this, this whole end of the state, the whole eastern part of the state. And one day, Joe, he came in and he said, well, it raked our leaves for us. I said, well, that's good. He was going to go out and rake, but there were no, hardly any leaves in the yard. He said, I said, well, do you know where they went? He said, nope. And I said, then we don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Who knows where they blew to. There were some along the edges of the house that he did get raked up. There weren't a lot. Ah. Uh, days like this, it's not that I have so much interesting to say. It's more that I'm just interested in being outside. <laughs> Getting the sun and the fresh air. I may end up with some sneezes later on from allergies, but hey, <laughs> it's life. <laughs> uh, there's always Benadryl. <laughs> If it gets too bad, I mean, a couple of sneezes does not warrant better girl. A lot of itchy nose or itchy throat and all that kind of stuff, watering eyes. Then I need a better girl. Uh, every once in a while, I'll get this 
right between my shoulder blades, right in the spine, and it just... And then I'll give in to the temptation of cracking my spine, you know, bending over and cracking my spine. And a lot of times, it'll crack two or three times, and then later I'll regret it, because then I know it's pinching something. <laughs> or I've irritated it worse. So, I just have to try not to give in anymore to it. I hope you can hear me above this noisy thing. I'm not, I don't want to shout when the neighbors are. <laughs> I think we're okay. We have really been getting hit hard by COVID again around here. And so I don't go very many places and I'm not living in fear and I'm not giving up my life, which is what a lot of people try to indicate. And I'm not. I. I'm careful, but I was pretty much, pretty much stuck at home most of the time before this started. It's just the fact that I can't be around my kids so much. Getting a whole family gathering is just, it's a lot right now with everything going on. So kids are in school. It seems like it's after, right after school started, this stuff started popping up really high numbers again. But there's a lot more in Gage County now than there ever have been. Sniffle, sniffle. <laughs> I would show you, but this is more of a stationary um, tripod. It's tall, and every time I move it, I've got to completely readjust it. But there is a bush over there, it's one of her bushes, that's just got these flaming red leaves right now. The fall, the, evidently the leaves on that one turn up flaming red in fall. It's just, I wish I'd have been out and seen it when it was full of them because it's just, the color is just gorgeous. I've always wanted to get one of those small silver willows, and I don't know, just, I don't know why we haven't, why we never did, if it's because they're kind of expensive, maybe, I don't know, get them, you know, partially grown, and then I've thought about, well, maybe it'd be better to get like a pine or something that would grow, you know, like straight up and not, and we could put it where it wouldn't branch out and get into wires because that's why we had to get rid of that walnut. It was getting in wires really bad. And there's other trees getting in wires around here but they're not our trees to get rid of so we've got one that's got a big old branch hanging right over the house. Joe has talked about getting it down even though it's right on right across our property line at least it's as far as it looks. They've got a little retaining wall and it's right on the other side. But it's big. Made a battery shift. Ah. I didn't want to stay in the house to do this again. To finish this off. So I decided, okay. <laughs> Temperatures dropped a little, but I'm on my front porch. There's no wind. <laughs> At least not a lot. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. It's... I did lay down for a little while, and I did end up taking a Benadryl. Because <laughs> I, I laid down, and I just... I don't know. I don't think I dozed off for very long at all, and I was just... Everything was just running, and I was coughing. You don't need all the details. <laughs> My grandson. <laughs> I won't say what, but I kind of got on to him about something. And he gave, he gave me some flip answer, and I said, That's no excuse. You know better. And he says, Okay. <laughs> so... I sent him a little 
grandma thing with an I love you thing on it. He, he said, I love you too, grandma. <laughs> He's going to be 19. They never stopped loving grandma. I hope. Because this grandma steps out of line every once in a while. <laughs> well, I step on their toes every once in a while. I try not to get overly, but they're, they're getting to be adults now. They can, they can start acting adults. <laughs> so, takes them a while, especially these days. I grew up on a farm. I'm just, you know, we raised our kids to work. And they've all been hard workers. But it, it just seems like this, and I think Socrates said that about, <laughs> Socrates, the ancient philosopher, said the th same thing about the teens back then. But they seem to take a while before they settle into adulthood, real adulthood. But they don't have the responsibilities right away either, so, yeah. I married, I'm, I started my family too young. I was 16. I've got no regrets. My oldest daughter is a blessing I could never ever replace. All my kids are blessings. But she's the one I gave birth to at 16. <laughs> I love them all very dearly, and I love all of my grandkids, and there's a bunch of them. Getting a group photo now would be a whole different story. Oh, there's a fluffy-tailed squirrel out there right now, right there by the flower bed. Oh, he took off. <laughs> and I didn't even go up there to scare him. He just took off. Probably found a friend, decided to go jump around and play. So I'm just all over the place with conversation today, but you guys know that's nothing new. <laughs> Sitting here looking at the snow shovel and thinking, oh, yuck. It's, pro it's been out here. I'm sure it's been out here ever since forever. I don't know. I've been into some of them boxes. I don't remember it sitting there like that. I think he's preparing too soon. No, it's probably been here. I, I just didn't notice it. Oh, cars driving by. Well, they're on the other street. They don't. They're not turning to go in front of me. So, no smiling way for them. But here's one for you. So be sure to smile and wave at somebody today, even if it's over video. <laughs> if you video chat with somebody or whatever, just, or if you see somebody, make sure you smile. Make sure you give yourself a smile. Look in that mirror and say, oh, what a cool thing you are. Just beautifully and wonderfully made because God didn't make any mistakes. So, I mean, come on guys. What do you think Methuselah looked like by the time he was 900 and some years old? I think we probably look pretty good. <laughs> oh, love you.